And so when that happened, he went in for chemotherapy the next week and I made a commitment to make sure he had the Kangen water with him every single day. I mean, this was, there was, a, I, I, I did a lot of things. I gave up a lot of things. Um, I pretty much put all my eggs into this basket of helping him heal uh, with this water um, to keep him hydrated, to keep his body alkaline. And, you know, he was walking three miles a day. He was having a couple, you know, bumps here and there, some nausea here and there. But as long as he kept up with his, you know, water intake, which was trying to get a gallon in him a day at least. I know that's hard going through all that and all these fluids in you. Um, but he, he committed to it and he really got it down. He made sure it was every hour, you know, drinking some, whether I had to remind him or sit with him in the hospital. And I was there for, you know, a lot of the days that he was getting treatment, making sure that that water was going down because there's nothing else I really could do except support love and care for him, but also just give him this water. And that's where I've done so much research in those years since my issues that the water does so many healing benefits of antioxidants, um, you know, being able to hydrate all the cells, uh, being able to help the body become alkaline, um, all these different principles that you want and need when you're going through something like cancer, especially chemotherapy. And an interesting thing I discovered was the common water has the ability to uh, scavenge cytotoxins. And I saw that on one of the scientific reviews and journals that, again, I, I, I did so much research on. And I was like, cytotoxin, why does that sound familiar or intense? I, you know, looked it up and cytotoxins is similar to chemotherapy. And I was like, wow. So this water has the ability, because remember, chemo goes in, kind of nukes the body. But what happens is, over time, that chemo stays in the body. So that acid stays in the body. You know, it's like changing the fish, you know, the water in the fish tank. Instead of fixing the fish, we just change the water and the fish will become better. And that's the same thing for our bodies. And so by changing, you know, the water in his body and be able to flush out any chemo residue, we were able to boost his recovery, keep him his strength up. Um, honestly, I don't want to say go through it with a breeze, but a lot easier than probably most have gone through with cancer um, because of this water. And what was incredible was they told us, you know, six months to six years for remission for his AML and shoot that I mean that's some people look at it as good or bad some people just look at it as what it is but what was really interesting was in five weeks in about 30 gallons or so in one round of chemo remember there's multiple rounds so just one round um, the doctor came in and I remember this sitting with him and he looked at us both and said Tim you're already in remission yeah you're you're in remission already like yeah and it was quiet and it was a very eerie feeling and the doctor walked out and we both looked at each other and we kind of looked at the water and we looked at just how grateful we were to hear that news within just a month, a little over a month of, of one round of chemo and, and 30 gallons of Kangen. And so that was very powerful because I saw hand in hand day by day how the water helped him, what it was doing, um, really understood what was happening in his body um, to a point where some of the doctors were actually asking if I was a pre-med student. And I was wearing, you know, Nike clothes. I was wearing a jacket and some Nike shoes. And I just had all my books. And I was like, no, I'm just a, a son that cares about his dad and wants to give him every chance he has. And the number one way is by this water. And they didn't even know what the water was. They, they just looked at it and like, oh, some of them heard about alkaline water, but nothing medical grade that Kangen water is. Because medical grade water, Kangen water is medical water. It's, it's certified medical device by the Japanese Ministry of Health. And so they use it in a lot of hospitals over there for treating their patients with all sorts of issues. Um, but again, it doesn't heal them. It hydrates and detoxes and helps bring back balance and structure to the body from the properties in the water. And when we do that, our bodies have that ability to basically heal themselves. You know, so it was pretty powerful to see. Um, it was, gosh, it was eye-opening just to see it happen unfold. And, you know, long story short, he did go finish his treatments. Again, as much as he understood the water, he still wanted to be safe. Um, so he did a few more rounds of chemo and got a stem cell transplant. Um, but even that alone, I mean, he was still moving around. He had a couple bad days, um, but really the bad days he had, he just didn't drink much water. And we were able to fix that fast and slept well. And um, there's so many little experiences that we had. And I was with him for so many of the days in the hospital, um, just seeing, you know, how he was progressing um, the doctors were amazed. I mean, there's so many times the nurses would come in and say, do you need anything? And we'd look and say, no, I'm just hanging out. And, you know, we're in a hospital with so many other cancer patients on, we call it the sixth floor. We'll never forget the floor. And all these other rooms, you could hear just the, the pain, the, the moans, the, 
discomfort, the, the fear. Um, and it was hard to be around. It was a tough environment and, and it was hard to see. And so what had happened was after about, gosh, two, uh, two months in from the point he started his treatment, he was done with his stem cell transplant and he went on to get his blood work up. So he had to get his blood count back up because he had AML, so it's, it's a cancer of the bone marrow of the blood. And so leukemia is blood. And so as he was recovering, he got his transplant and they told him, Tim, you gotta be at this, um, you have to be here with us for another couple of weeks until your blood counts go up. And you know, long story short, he crushed that. He actually got out of there a lot faster than most record setting time, um, which was, I believe, six days instead of six weeks. And they've had him, you know, stay next door at a little private hotel that's close to you, say in case of emergencies or um, any kind of whatever. And he's right there, not back home in Orange County compared to LA. And so instead of six weeks, we were able to get him back home in his recliner in six days. And they said that was the fastest they'd ever seen the body recover, the fastest they'd ever seen his blood counts go up. I mean, they were climbing, jumping. Every day was almost a week for another person, and he did it in a day. Um, so his recovery time was incredible, and he was able to be home, and ever since, um, you know, he's been doing great. He's been in remission for a long time, and this water really helped him, guide him through the process, and handle the, the, the blunts of treatment, and um, we're truly grateful for it. And without it, it's hard to say where he would be, where I would be, um, health, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all that, but we can give a lot of credit to this water. And I just know that there's a lot of people out there looking for answers, looking for help. Um, but the biggest thing is, remember, we are water. We're 70% water. And when you can change that environment in your body, you have a better chance and a better opportunity to become more healthy, to become more hydrated, to become more um, alive with energy and vitality, where, again, your body can find that balance um, to create its perfect environment. And so I'm truly grateful for this water. I'm grateful for Jilly for bringing it into my life and staying patient with me and, uh, you know, waiting for me to come around to it. And um, I'm just blessed to share this now with a lot of people. And that's, that's become my why, you know, being able to share this with people who are going through things, whether it is, you know, small things like colds and flus, allergies, or anything from autoimmune diseases to, to cancers, obesity, diabetes. There's just been so many testimonials and research done that, you know, we could do so many things, you know, we could eat healthy, we can exercise. But at the end of the day, what are we? We are literally made of water. That's all we are. And our cells are full of it. And if we can make sure we can get that switch of the water in our body, we're gonna be able to get back into balance. We're gonna be able to restore equilibrium. We're gonna hydrate our cells. We're gonna detox all the waste and acid. And then that's gonna put your body in a state to overcome and conquer everything. So I hope you know this is uh, an empowerful testimonial for you. I hope this you know makes you think, makes you question, makes you you know, open your mind up and kind of pull down your stubborn ego walls that I had for eight months. Um, same with my father, if you could share this here on this video, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's coming back to truth and facts and knowledge, not just always what you believe. You know, belief systems are kind of based on what people tell you without second guessing or questioning or researching, but knowledge and truth is just what it is. And we intuitively know uh, what that is and this water speaks truth. Uh, so hopefully you share this with somebody um, send it to a loved one, a friend, a family who's going through anything, and maybe you could be that shining light for them and give them a tool, not, not a complete fix, a tool that allows their body to get back into balance so they can come out better.